You heard the man. Let's go at once. Welcome back, True Believers! Elite Legend back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And today we are going to be jumping into 1983. That's right, folks. In the last video, we did a deep dive into 1982. What we were doing in 1982 was we were taking a look at the action figures that were released in classified form that were part of the original 16 figures featured in 1982 by the good folks at Hasbro. So we ended up counting down from worst to first the nine figures that have yet to be released. Today we're actually going to be looking at 12 action figures. Now what you see before you are two Cobras and two Joes. From left to right we have Destro, whom actually was released twice in the first couple of years of the Classified series. We've seen Pimp Daddy Destro and of course the classic release. Actually, there's three Destros if you want to count the smooth Chrome Dome as an extra figure. You get the not in smooth little Chrome Dome. Not in smooth. Like my little baby boy, Dutton. The Apple of Man! My little baby boy. Day on! All right. So, yes, three Destros if you count the smooth Chrome Dome. Elite Legend does not have that one. Now, of course, we see Dookie, the most emotional Joe in Elite Legends collection. He has received two versions. We have the original version with the shiny shin guards, and then this is the field variant. And behind Dookie, we see Iceman Liddell, UFC legend and G.I. Joe classified series figure. This actually is the worst figure aside from... Let's just kick you! Blood you, baby. I love your little legend, like my own! Uh, well, thank you, Dusty, but I was not sneezing. I was talking about a Kiku from the G.I. Joe Classifieds Origins line. But what we see, as I digress, in Elite Legends estimation, the worst action figure in the G.I. Joe Classified series so far, so bad they had to make it twice, none other than Gung Ho. And, of course, the figure that created such a buzz, such a stir in the G.I. Joe classified community. Do you guys remember when Major Blood was the most highly, most coveted, most sought after figure in G.I. Joe classifieds? Elite Legend remembers, and so does Pepperidge Farm. Now, everybody was scrambling, trying to help the community out, fam, trying to get them for their kids. But we only got one major blood so far, and Elite Legend is satisfied with him. I'm not. He's a bully. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh my god, not again. Let's get to the countdown. Worst to first. Starting at number 12. Now, in at number 12 in the countdown, we have a figure that was actually released in 1982 as well. But this time, he is not in those 82 greens. He is now rocking the 83 tan. None other than Robert Graves, a.k.a. Grunt, the infantry trooper, small arms expert. What makes him cool? Previously, nothing made him cool. But now he comes with the Falcon. And this item is pretty damn cool. But you want to make sure that you keep it away from actual Falcons. At number 11, we have G.I. Joe's chief pacifist and medical doctor, none other than Carl Greer, a.k.a. Doc. He's a Harvard grad. Again, he's a pacifist. What makes him cool? Saving lives, I guess, and coming with that sweet stretcher and fire launcher. When you see him all geared up with that stretcher, with that flare gun, or fire launcher attached, and that sweet helmet. There is no disputing that this is a cool-looking figure, but he's not cool enough to get higher than number 11 in the countdown. And at number 10, we see the Cobra Pilot. We saw a lot of Cobra Troopers in the 1982 assortment. This one is 
Not really a repaint. There are some distinct differences on his attire. He comes with knee pads, and he is very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And you gotta be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed to be the evil pilot of the Cobra Command Attack Glider, a.k.a. the Viper. This is the equivalent to the G.I. Joe Falcon, and this is a very cool-looking glider. And we've seen with the Sky Striker, you put a Cobra logo on something that's pretty boring, and look at how it pops. This thing is awesome. Good enough to crack the top ten. The Cobra Pilot. His specialty is evil. And now we are on into the number nine spot in the countdown. It is none other than the Hiss Driver. He's part of Cobra the Enemy. He's a mechanical expert. And he is evil with a capital E. Look at this beautiful red deco with the thigh-high boots. This guy is made for Clark Street in Chicago. Circa 1984. Let them daddy. They got down and punky at Halter Street in Chicago, Illinois. I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl, but they got punky, if you will. What? <laughs> Lots of helmets. Ah! You know what they say. Anything can happen on Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles, pal. <laughs> At number eight in the countdown, I have a feeling if this figure gets released, they're going to have that schmuck from the Black Eyed Peas come out and talk for about 35 minutes about hol holistic healing powers and the power of inclusivity. That's because Airborne, the helicopter assault trooper, is number eight in the countdown. Franklin Talltree, member of the Navajo Nation, Airborne Infantry, and the helicopter gunner for G.I. Joe. He's a graduate of law school, an expert in the helicopter chain gun, and he also features that far seeing look wow that's impressive dusty where did you learn that learn that from my good friend wahoo mcdaniel if you will dusty has mastered the far-seeing look almost as well as airborne does now what makes airborne cool the fact that he's friends with wild bill and hangs out in the dragonfly is pretty damn cool his outfit is also pretty sweet I love the tan, I love the baby blue. You can see that it was replicated quite nicely in the 25th anniversary line. And I would love to see Airborne come into classified form. At number seven, set down! Spread your legs apart, daddy! WTF, Dusty! That's funky, daddy! And speaking of funky, number seven is a mind detector. A.K.A. Tripwire. Tormad Scrooge, or Tormad Scrooge. Hey, this guy might get visited by three spirits because Christmas is right around the corner. This explosive ordinance disposal demolition expert. And also, you know how Hasbro loves checking those boxes. This brother is Japanese. Hasbro, get on it. Get on the phone. Find somebody of Japanese descent and have them prepare a 35-minute speech. For the next Hasbro PulseCon. Because Tripwire, the mind detector, needs to be made in classified form. This dude was a high school dropout. He was kicked out of a Zen monastery over breaking dishes and spilling fluids. There's an old tan up in all detected about not crying over spilled milk. While the American dream had never broken any dishes. The American dream had broken quite a few hearts. When I spill that fluid. Woo! Wow. As I digress, Tripwire had a spiritual awakening at a grenade range of all places and ended up becoming a demolition expert. Go figure. What makes him cool? That sweet ass outfit that he's wearing. He comes with a helmet, he has a visor. This guy also comes with a mind sweeper and a mind pack. Anytime you see a G.I. Joe figure that comes with one of those little rubber hoses, you know it's going to be lit. And you know it's going to be high on Elite Legends Countdown. So Hasbro, get on it. We need Tripwire in classified form. All right, folks, at number six, we have none other than Brad Armbruster, a.k.a. Ace, the fighter pilot. 
of the Sky Striker. Ace would rather fly than do anything. What makes him cool? He's a fighter pilot. He's a movie stunt flyer. They call him Ace because he's an expert gambler. And let's not forget about that sick ass outfit and helmet. Whoa, Vince! That is a sick air guitar solo! <laughs> and number five in the countdown, we have Courtney A. Kreiger, aka Cover Girl, the Wolverine driver. Her military specialty is rocking it on the runway and mechanics. She was a high fashion model from Illinois. She became an expert in handling rockets. As a result of modeling in Chicago during the summer shooting season, naturally she became a member of G.I. Joe. Now, as you can see, this is another figure from the 83 line that is rocking those tans. Now, what makes CoverGirl cool? If you just look at the action figure that was released in 1983, it's not that cool. And if you see other interpretations of the figure, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. Let me know in the comments, do you prefer blonde or brunette cover girl? And do you like her hair long and flowing or short like a man? What did make the action figure in 1983 cool was the fact that it came with the Wolverine. Now, if we were to get a HasLab Wolverine, pair it up with cover girl and add some other tiers in there, Elite Legend would be all in. Now, one of the things that the Elite Legend is a little disappointed in is that I was Googling uh, cosplay for cover girl and I was really disappointed. But I did find this, and again, once again, I was really disappointed. Oh, that's not cosplay? <laughs> that's CoverGirl from the movie? Ugh. At number four, no honor, no respect. There's nothing more that I can say about the horsemen. They put hard times on the American dream that the road, hard times like when David made pee pee. In my wife's beautiful garden, David, this gonna be your last Christmas. All right, Dusty, I was not talking about the four horsemen. I was talking about the number four spot in the countdown. And that belongs to James Barney, the laser artillery soldier known as Grand Slam. If you watch the 1982 countdown, you'll know that Grand Slam came in at the number 5 spot, mainly because of the heavy artillery laser. What's cooler than the heavy artillery laser? I'll tell you what. It's a launch pad and a command console, which is what Grand Slam came with. This brother knocked it out of the park. And you can put it on the board! Yeah! At the number 3 spot. We have a Navy SEAL demolition expert. This man's name is Edward Halakaliki Maka, a.k.a. Torpedo. Halakaliki Maka is the wise way to say scuba instructor with a black belt, skilled in the Filipino butterfly knife fighting sport. Kind of like the elite legend. This man is a vegetarian, whatever that is. Vegetarian! That's when you go to the pet store and you find yourself one of those little cute and cuddly gerbils and you take it and you put it in your honey on the dusty. I'm pretty sure that's not what a vegetarian is. Put that in your dictionary. Vegetarian. Now, I don't think anybody would find that amusing, Dusty, especially not Edward Halakaliki Maka, a.k.a. Torpedo, because he is known of having the personality of a cold fish. Now, what would you say would make this guy cool? Hey, I know you guys ain't blind. This scuba gear and the friggin' harpoon gun. Look at his flippers. This guy is sick. Number three. Torpedo, the demolition expert. Now, I am not here to give you no snow job. Snow job! That's when you... Dusty, come on! The elite legend is not here to sell you a snow job. I am here to talk about the number two spot in the countdown. And that belongs to the polar battle bear driver. The arctic trooper known as snow job. Harlan Moore. This man is part of the Arctic Ski Patrol, and he is an expert in long-range rifles. 
What makes him cool? He's a ginger. That's not cool. But he has no shame in lining up that powder, and he has a penchant for skiing. From the window to the wall, Daddy! That helped to no job and the American dream! You to do it back in 2054! Alright, TMI Dusty. Now, Snow Job is a biathlon contender. Biathlon! That win you, Dusty! Too many of those outbursts, Dusty. You are out of line. Now, Snow Job is a biathlon contender. He comes with skis and a polar pack. Now tell me, an action figure in a line of characters that are all in tan and green and camel, you put this guy with his skis, with his polar pack, with his ginger beard, with his goggles. This guy is sick, could have easily been number one, but if you guys follow G.I. Joe, if you guys know anything about the Elite Legend, you know that number one could only have belonged to this man. That's right, Chuck Norris. I mean, Wild Bill, the helicopter pilot. This was the pilot of the Dragonfly, William Hardy, the aircraft armorer from Brady, Texas. What makes him cool? What doesn't make him cool? He has a sweet cocaine stash. He has a sweet cowboy hat. Look at these glasses. This guy is badass, even though he's in all green. Elite Legend is more of a fan of how he looked in later versions of the cartoon when he had that orange vest on. But even without that orange vest, this master of the Colt 45 with training that is actually classified. There's been rumors about what that training involved. Elite Legend isn't even going to get into that because it would probably violate YouTube standards. But there you get a good shot at the Assault Copter, a.k.a. Dragonfly, and we have just seen the Sky Striker become a reality in HasLab form. Now, I would love to see a Dragonfly become the next G.I. Joe Classified series project. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to see in classified form? And you see Wild Bill with his buddy Airborne, who was featured on the countdown. Now, fun fact. When I was Google searching Wild Bill Airborne, I came across the original Wild Bill, Staff Sergeant William Garnier Sr. This man was part of the 101st Airborne Division, and he served in World War II. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know if Wild Bill was inspired by Chuck Norris or the Wild Bill from World War II, but Wild Bill needs to be made in classified form. That was a wild ride. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Barbecue, you're not the his tank driver. Whoa! So there you have it, folks. Elite Legend was able to successfully count down from 12 to 1 the G.I. Joe figures that need to be made in classified form that were made back in 1983. Let me know what your countdown would look like if you like this give me a big old thumbs up. If not, you can try to give me a thumbs down, but I think those commies over at YouTube deleted that option. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, drop a comment, follow the Elite Legend on Instagram at Elite Legend 224 check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist, Marvel Legends playlist. I drop content regularly, so you don't want to miss that. Smash that notification bell, and until next time, make mine. 